Hi, this is Rick Marshall from Vertical Geo. Welcome to our Creating a File Geo Database in ArcMap 10 tutorial. This is a tutorial for the beginner to demonstrate how to create a file geo database in ESRI's ArcMap 10.1. My intent is that this video gives you enough information to get started and begin experimenting on your own. I have been working on a project for the last few weeks to map US Highway 50 from the eastern shore of Maryland to Sacramento, California. We will be using ESRI's National Geographic Base Map Service for the base map for this project and we will begin creating our own line feature class to trace US Highway 50 across the US. US Highway 50 is more than just a line, it also includes the cultural landscape that surrounds the highway. All the places we visit on an average day that lie along the highway will be listed as places in our map, with information about those places included in the attributes for the places. These places will be represented in a point feature class. We will be working with ArcGIS Desktop 10.1 for this video, so let's get started. First off, we need to open a new blank map in ArcMap, and we already have that done in our desktop application. Uh, starting in ArcMap 10, uh, ESRI began including um, a, an Arc Catalog window within ArcMap. So if you come up and click on Windows on the, the uh, icon tray and click on Catalog, your Arc Catalog window will pop up. It used to be you had to have both Arc Catalog and Arc Map to be able to do both mapping and create data. Uh, now, for many of the simpler tasks, uh, you can do it all from within ArcMap. Arc Catalog is still a separate program in ESRI's software suite, and it comes right along with ArcMap when you download the product. But there are many things that you can do within ArcMap instead of having to uh, leave ArcMap and go into Arc Catalog. So this capability helps us to work more quickly instead of going back and forth between the two software programs. So in, Arc, in the uh, Arc Catalog window, let's go ahead and open up the window tree and make sure we can connect to the location we want to create our file geodatabase. I used our Windows uh, file tree to create some folders and I created a folder here called Creating a File Geodatabase and I've got a couple of folders inside that, one for the MXD which is the map document that we're working on and the other one just called Documents. Um, I also want to uh, create a folder in here where we're going to put the file geodatabase called Data. So to do that, just like you, if you were working on a Windows file tree, you right click on the folder that you want to put, um, in this case a data folder within, and you go New, Folder, and we'll call this one Data, So far working just like the Windows file tree. And inside the data folder is where we're going to create our file geo database. So if I right click on the data folder and go down to new, I can select a file geo database, a personal geo database, or I can go down here and even create shape files. Uh, in this case though, we're going to do a file geo database. and it'll spin for just a minute and it comes up with the name for the new file geodatabase and I want to call this US Highway 50 and that's going to be the name of our uh, geodatabase. Now within the file geodatabase we have uh, different levels of folders um, just like we do in our filing cabinet or our Windows tree. And so the next folder I want to create is the highest level of those. And so we're going to break uh, this project down by state. So what I want to do first off, we're going to work Highway 50 from the East Coast to the West Coast. So I'm going to start off with the first state, Highway 50 starts in on the East Coast, and that's Maryland. So if I right-click on my file geodatabase, 
and go down to New, I can create a Feature Data Set, which will be a grouping of feature classes. So here I want to call this Maryland. And hit Next. Everything within your Feature Data Set uh, will use the same uh, geographic coordinate system. In this case, we're going to be using um, ESRI's uh, National Geographic Base Map Service, which, like most web-based um, maps, is in the WGS 1984 Web Mercator um, projection. Now, we're going to use that one for today's project also. So I'm going to go ahead and it's already highlighted here. Um, if you wanted to use a different one, you could scroll up and go through all the projected coordinate systems and all the geographic coordinate systems. ESRI does a really nice job of including all the different coordinate systems that you can pick from. But we can see down here in our current coordinate system that the WGS 1984 Web Mercator is selected and we're going to hit Next. We're not going to worry about a vertical coordinate system. We're not going to do any 3D uh, data creation in this project. So I can just click on Next. XY Tolerance, we're going to leave all this as default. Okay, so I just created my feature data set for Maryland. And within Maryland, we're going to create two feature classes. The first one will be for the highway, and the second one will be for places. So I'll right-click on Maryland. I'll go over here to a new feature class, and I'm going to create US 50 Maryland route, which we'll use as a line feature class to trace Highway 50 across Maryland. So the type of features stored in this class will be a line feature class, line features. <coughs> Geometry properties will have no M values, which are uh, time related, and no Z values, which are 3D. Click on Next. Specify database storage configuration, default. This is where we, <clears throat> the next, the new feature class um, attribute window is where we can store any attributes that we want about the root. And the only one I'm going to add here, object ID and shape, are default that come with ESRI. You can't change them or get rid of them. But I do want to add name. And that'll be a text file, or a text um, entered. And how about let's put state also. And that'll be text also. And all the states have less than 50 letters. We we're going to allow no values. That sounds good. So that's all there was to creating the um, line data set or the line feature class. Now we're going to create uh, one more feature class and this will be um, the feature class that will store all the places and all the attributes about the places for Highway 50 in Maryland. So this one I want to call US 50 Maryland places. This will be um, where we're going to list all those places that we come across on Highway 50. Um, and what these will be, we'll be storing these as points. We will have lots of attributes along with the points that we store though. Uh, we're not going to list any M values or Z values, so we can hit next. We're going to for the uh, database storage configuration, we're going to accept the default. And then we come to the attribute window. And so what I want to do here is add some attributes. And the first will be name. This will be the name of any of the places along Route 50 that we want to save. Um, text is good for the name. I'm going to want a length more than 50. Let's give it a length of 100 characters. Okay, and we'll drop down to the next one. It will be address. And I'm going to do that text also, and I'm going to add that one up, bump it up to 100 characters. City. 
and I think 50 characters is fine for city state I think 50 characters is fine for the state symbol when I actually draw my map um, I am going to have a different symbol listed for um, maybe museums and cultural attractions, photo opportunities, hotels. So I want to be able to define those out separately so that they show up different on the map. And so I have um, an attribute called symbol and we will fill that in with uh, um, different symbols as we go along. Phone number and this will be um, an integer but I want to let people put um, parentheses and dashes in there also so we're just going to make this one a text also website URL if the place has a website we want to include that in there and that's text but it may be more than 50 characters so on this one I'm going to bump it up to 120 characters and then photo photos URL um, if we find photos of of uh, the points that we want to map along the way and they're online we can link to them um, and have them show up in our map and this one I'm going to bump up to 120 characters also okay so we hit finish and we've um, finished creating the point feature class so next what we want to do is um, and they're already <laughs> imported here on our map next thing I want to do is import the ESRI base map so if we go up to the add data button on the row of icons click on add base map find the National Geographic base map and click add we've got the base map there we're going to zoom in to our portion of the world where we want to uh, begin adding data and here we see Highway 50 where it starts in Ocean City, Maryland. Um, we've created our, our feature classes to begin digitizing our data and saving our data into and we will in the next tutorial start adding data to these feature classes and start actually mapping uh, our way across Highway 50. Thank you for tuning in. This has been um, a very basic overview of creating a file geodatabase in ArcMap 10. Uh, come back next time to, to see how we actually add data to that database. Thank you very much.